So I want to get started and kind of let you know, you know, I'm a New Yorker. I let me, I'm a little twisted here too. So I'm a New Yorker. I am a total city girl. I was born and raised in Brooklyn. I've been living in Manhattan, which is, if you don't know New York, it is what you think of as New York City since I got out of college and I am a total city girl unfortunately or fortunately you know I married I married a skier and um, when I met my husband it was probably God it was the first time I was out here it was really funny it was probably like 18 years ago 19 years ago so I've been coming out here for a really long time and um, as a skier it's a really great snow day and he didn't pick me up at the airport. He said, I'll just take the car service because I think my flight was late or something. And he goes, I'll meet you at the house because it was like crazy, crazy, perfect powder. And it was really hard for him to get to the airport. And I don't think he, you know, could have, could bear like the moment away. So I got the car service and I came out here with a friend of mine and the, we told the driver, you know, the address. And he goes, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. And he dropped us off at some house. And I had my big suitcase and I packed all my snow boots from New York because, you know, I wasn't taking any chances. And I go into this house and I'm like, this doesn't look like Michael's house. I don't think he said this place wasn't like that nice, but like, I didn't think it would be like this bad, you know, and I'm walking around and then all of a sudden we go to the kitchen and I look at the refrigerator and I'm like, he doesn't have kids. Who's this woman? And I realized that this cab driver dropped me off at the wrong house house so this was pre-cell phones remember this was like 18 19 years ago so i'm like what the hell do you do and it's like it's got to be at least 18 inches of snow so i had my suitcase i had what i thought were my really good warm snowshoes but they obviously were not so my girlfriend and i trudged suitcase snowshoes out in 18 inches of snow dragging it out until we got to the road and we flagged down one of those big old yellow cats you know the, the they have them on the mountain to do all the snow moving so we flagged down this cat and told the driver where we were going and he goes that's not the address and he goes get on so he took our he took our suitcases and he threw them in the back of the cat in a cage and we went you know side saddle on the side of the cat and he drove us right up to the road to here so like i kind of got to wyoming <laughs> side saddle on a cat and what I realized was this that those snow boots that I brought from New York which were perfectly here's Mr. Poodle by the way which were per perfectly fine and functional in the city were like squat in Wyoming so it got me really into realizing the different kinds of snowshoes and what is what's right in what kind of weather. And, you know, it really is a key thing. It's, a, it's all about traction. It's totally, totally, totally about traction. So there's snow boots for fluffy snow. There's snow boots for ice. There's snow boots you can wear in the city. And I've, I've got a collection of them out here. And I thought, since I was kind of so naive about what works and what for what occasion of snow and what winter weather, that I'd share it with you now that I'm kind of like learning my, my ropes around it. So I also want to give you a couple of tips um, before we get started. And if you want to share, I see a few of you are on right now. It's great. You know, I never periscope. So, and I'm starting to. I always say I'm starting to, but I need you two there for support. So if you're there, give me a couple of hearts right now. If you would like to share this to your friends on Periscope, now's the time to share it. And um, I want to, before we get into to, um, boots, I want to talk to you about another winter thing that's really important out here, and that's hats. And one of the things is like, this is my, um, now my hair's going to be removed for the rest of it. This is my favorite cashmere hat. I wear this, I carry this in my bag in New York almost all the time. In the winter, if it gets cold, it's really great. It's thin, it's cashmere, it's breathable, it's wonderful. While I've been out here, we have had minus 25 nights. I have woken up in the morning to minus 17 and minus 11. It has been the longest cold spell that we've been at our house since any of us can remember. This hat is like wearing a bikini in Antarctica. It ain't happening. So one of the knit hats that I did buy this week, and I wanted to tell you guys about it because it's something to look for, is I got it in a ski shop. It's kind of cute. I kind of like it. I've been wearing it a lot. I probably will be wearing it a lot this winter. I'm taking it back home with me. And one of the things to look for when you're getting a winter hat that really keeps you warm and doesn't overheat because, you know, sometimes a lot of these winter hats, it's just like you, you just like, 
you could die when you walk into a store for a second. So this hat has what you should really look out for. And it has, can you see it up here? It has a band of polar fleece inside around your forehead. So that keeps it extra toasty and extra warm. And I really love this because it has the weave. See, I have my fingers through it. Um, that it'll get some air in it so you won't overheat. So this is really a fantastic hat for cold weather. And I have, oh my God, 50 hats out here. And the one I usually wear the most is probably the one I got on my second trip out here because of the polar fleece. And um, it's, I'm finding more of them. And this year in stores out here, this one is by a company called Coal. I'm finding this year in stores out here in Jackson that there's much more hats that have this little polar fleece. But this is a really, really great tip. So um, anyway, are you on? Are you there? You want to learn about snow boots? You ready? Okay. So, you know, it has been friggin' cold out here. And um, I got my new snow boots from New York and I kind of wear them all the time. They're like my, I call them like, and Jackson, they're like my evening boots because you can't go for long walks in them. It's just too icy. And these are, I think I got them on guilt.com. It's from Australia Lux. And um, see, they're actually really nice and they're shearling. I'm not a fan of fur, but when it comes to cold feet, I do wear shearling. And um, what I love about these is that they have a really soft, can you see them? I know I'm like, let me try to get further back. So they have a really soft inside. So you don't have to wear socks. It's like, how cool is that? And you're not cold. Your feet are not cold. So I absolutely love it. Saves your pedicure, lets it last longer. Because you know how like heavy boots and socks sometimes chip away at your pedicure? This is great. Get, actually, your feet look great for a lot longer. It has one of those hidden wedges so that, here, I should show you the nicer side. It has one of the hidden wedges on it. So so you get a little height and it's flat so when it's icy and cruddy out it's easier to walk but this is why these boots are great for fluffy snow and they're great for city snow you know light weather winter weather they're great going in and out of your car they're easy to drive because they're flat on the bottom but here's what's horrible when it's really icy out and it has been days here where it's really icy this sole does not do the trick so even though they leave a cute footprint. See how there's the ridges on here? This is, I'm telling you, it is like all about traction. Like I am, you know, I must, I own, I don't know how many hundreds of pairs of shoes. I love good shoes. It took me, trust me, a really, really long time to get into shoes that are all about traction to be out here in Wyoming. Trust me, it was a toughie. And like, this is my, it doesn't, you can't, you can't poke around on high heel boots out here in and out of the car, maybe a chunky heel when it's starting to get warm and there's no snow on the ground. But when it is as cold as it is now, uh, 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 uh. So anyway, see this ridge on this sole. The ridge on the sole, if you look at it, you see it's not very deep. See? That's great for snow, fresh snow, fluffy snow, city streets, eh, normal ice, not too, you know, like maybe like 30 degree kind of ice, but when it's like 17 degree ice, below 17 degree ice, you will slip on it. It doesn't have enough depth on the heel to grip you or the toe or on here. So these are kind of like normal cold weather boots. Nothing extreme, nothing crazy. They look really good. I love them. I wore them almost every night here when we went out to dinner, but when I would walk Mr. Poodle in the morning, I couldn't really get past the driveway unless I wanted to break my neck. So not enough traction. That's the other thing. Now, if you want a boot that has crazy good traction, which is probably not the most gorgeous boot, but they, they're really good for their purpose. These boots, I actually wrote about them a few years ago. I focus on style. They're from Sorel. They don't make them anymore, but they have something that you can look for. They're a wedge, see? And you see the grip on the bottom? Like, by the way, I have Jackson Hole nails right now. They're just atrocious. So we'll get fixed in New York. But anyway, you see the, the ridge? See how it's kind of bumpy all along the bottom? These are fantastic for icy weather. Fantastic. See the sole? It has really, really deep, I don't know, what do you want to call these things? Grips, wedges, whatever it is on them. This is fantastic for when it's icy, when it's horrible out. It's actually, this boot is, um, it's not lined. So what I wear with these are heat tech socks usually. I get them at Uniglo in New York. So they're thin socks, but they hold the heat in. And um, these are, you know, I, these are great. I mean, I can't tell you how good so listen you know it sounds like a guitar right it's like a washboard you could play this all of these boots this is like the best for icy weather that still have like 
you know, they're not gorgeous, but they still have some bit of style. They're actually pretty good for like really heavy duty snow boots. I actually realized I didn't bring up, I had another pair of bog boots that I didn't bring up to show you. They're in my closet downstairs, which are for 30 below weather. They're good up to 30 below. Sounds insane, right? But it does get that cold. And what those boots have is a very similar sole to that, but they're flat. I actually never wear those boots. They, I just overheat in them. Um, then, okay, so now we're talking like some serious snow. Like, it's really snowy outside. It's icy. It's snowy. It's winter boots. Mr. Poodle needs to go for a walk. I need to go meet the guys over at the mountain. It's horrible weather out, but I still want a snow boot that's, you know, not that, it's still decent looking, but it, it's, it's my Claude Hopper practical. These are the ones I wear. See, they're tight. They're from, uh, Loa, L-O-W-A. They're a few years old already. And also you see the stuff out here gets a little snowy stained. And it's not like in New York where I could just hop all over to the, you know, the shoe repair on the corner. There's a guy here. It takes him like three weeks. And if it's not like cowboy boots, he's really not all about fixing them. So um, anyway, this sole, just like the Sorrells, check out the bumps. See the grip? These are perfect, perfect boots for horrific snowy icy weather it has the bump on them they're you know they're great and they're actually for this kind of stuff they're not so bad looking they're actually kind of attractive for you know things are they are what they are they're they're no you know stiletto shoe but they're totally practical and i kind of like the things i got these in new york at paragon i believe um last year the year before but i used to leave boots like this out here in jackson hole but in the last couple of years oh, mr poodle don't knock that over i in the last couple of years it was so cruddy in new york that i've left them in my closet in there and i've actually worn them a lot in new york and these have kind of a fuzzy lining you need to wear socks with them but um and i kind of wear short heavy socks but they're fine they and you don't really overheat that much in them because we go to the movies a lot my son is like an insane film buff and um i i can't tell you like some of these boots when you go in a movie theater you're like oh my god you're dying it's so hot um then let's see did i oh, hold on let me let me swivel on over Okay, so on the order of what to look for on another really, really heavy winter boot, these are um, my, the other kind of Sorrells, are, my husband has them, um, otherwise I'd show you those, but these are the ones that are actually, this is my first pair of winter boots out here, they're from Columbia. So the Traction, back, these were one of my first pair of boots out here, they are Columbia, and if you look at the Traction on them right here, you see it almost has like a snake back. I don't know, what do you call it, like an armadillo back? <coughs> Excuse me. These are fantastic for going to the mountain, going up the mountain when it's icy, and actually holding your grip, because I don't know if any of you know it, I'm kind of a klutz when it comes to ice. These are great. Then, <coughs> super deep snow. Want something warm. Wearing skinny pants. There is nothing better than a moon boot. I love my moon boots. And to let you know how in Jackson Hole it is not so easy to get things repaired, you can actually see they have super neat lifts. But these boots do not see the fuzzy ba the background, the, the sole. These boots are not good for icy weather one bit. Cannot wear them in icy weather. I, you, they're too flat. They don't have enough traction on the bottom. And But when it comes to like huge deep piles of snow boom 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 you can be like you know the abominable snowman in these they are the best for trudging through deep high fluffy snow and then here's something that i bet you never knew i would own and let me tell you these i don't think will ever come back to new york these what <laughs> what you wear in wyoming <laughs> stays in wyoming these are my shirling clogs these are my quick early morning dog walking shoes so when it's i used to have before Bo, we used to have another poodle who used to love to get up at two o'clock in the morning for a little walk and she goes pouring at you in the morning please i gotta make pee pee so these were i bought these for those and for her and i would just go out the front door and then and they stay super warm and you can actually walk like a good distance across a parking lot in them so if you look at the sole here they they're actually they're good for like iffy icy weather they do work in snow. Obviously, you're not going to wear, you know, a backless mule in, in super deep snow, but in a couple of inches to walk right outside. These are actually great. Um, they are not 
pretty. No, by all means. But they're, you know, they're kind of cute. It's woodsy. It's Wyoming. It's winter, right? So, you know, when in Wyoming, wear what you wear in Wyoming. So the other one I want to talk to you about is another pair of boots. And it's a trick that is really great if you live in a city and you buy a pair of shoes you really like, but they're not snow boots. They're, they're not for the winters. This is something I do all the time. These are one of my, oh God, these are so old. I wear these constantly. And I always take them out here because I, they're from Barney's, because um, I love the toe. I love the chunky heel. And they are in cruddy condition. And when the weather is terrible here and I want to wear a real boot, I can wear these. So there's two tricks to these boots. One, take them to the shoe repair and you put a rubber sole on it. Rubber sole on a boot. It's like 30 bucks, no big deal. Big secret, the big reveal, Shearling boot liners. The friggin' best. This is something that I cannot even tell you how great they are. Shearling boot liners. You can get them online. Hold on one second, I need to... Sorry. <laughs> this is why I wasn't skiing, because I have a cold out here. And my breathing has been horrific this whole time. It's just, I don't know what, probably because it's been 18 below. But anyway, so the chilling boot liners are just, they're the best. They're just the best. You put them inside. These are suede boots and um, get them true to size. Sometimes it's okay too if you get them like a half size larger and because they do flatten out a bit and then they won't scurry back and forth in your shoe. Put them inside your a regular pair of boots and get spend 30 bucks or so and get a rubber sole put on it and instantly you have like good winter weather boots that are your regular boots and, and they're nice and warm and they're comfy and um, that's about it. So now I have this huge collection of boots behind me. I was going to show you a little bit. I don't know if anyone's on there right now. I see a few of you on. You want to say hi? I could see you're there. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you our, we usually don't do, can you see it here in my, my fireplace? How do I get it up there? You can see my moose, right? We usually don't do Christmas decorations out here, but Honestly, we left them here last winter. We forgot to take them back to New York. So we've been getting a little carried away. There's my moose manure. I'm very proud of my moose manure. Do you see it? And, you know, um, this is a really busy time of year. We have Hanukkah, Christmas, my son's birthday, our anniversary. So we really like, you know, we're big on our holidays for this time of year. But anyway, um, so you see some of my cute ornaments up there. We have it's mostly wildlife. So we have wildlife, we have moose, we have elk, we have bears, we have fox, we have things that make sense to us here. So there's ski boots and cowgirls and cowboy boots and skiers, acorns, birds, bears, elk, you name it. We have all our backyard things. We don't, in New York, we actually have poodles on our tree. We didn't see a poodle ornament out here. But we're going to take some of these back home with us. And we even have a um, Star Wars uh, stocking, <coughs> excuse me, and on the, <laughs> oh, excuse me, and on the other side, we have a cowboy boot stocking. So we're, we're prepared for everything out here. So I hope you enjoy it. So kind of like if let's say you're like really looking to find two, like you don't want to, you, you don't live in the middle of, you know, the f freezing weather and you really want to find yourself a good pair of winter boots, I would say for normal situations, normal winter, <laughs> these for, these boots that I have from Australian, Australia Lux Collective. And these um, have the nice hidden wedge. They have a nice sole, decent, you don't have to wear socks with them. They're shielding super warm, but not overheated. And if you do need a winter boot for you know you live out in the mountains or the country or you're in an area or part of the country where you know it is frigid look for one that has this super duper grip on the bottom that's that's your best bet and then of course for regular outdoor z boots i love these these are terrific okay so um i hope you got some advice from this and um as you know i'm sharon haver from focusonstyle.com i am uh, when I'm on Periscope, I usually like to talk about style and success because even though I've been in the style business for uh, three decades, I have also run my own business and have been an entrepreneur and launched Focus on Style back in 1999. So I know quite a bit about marketing too, and I want to go in that direction and help other boss ladies on, on Periscope too. So 
what you can do is I have here my little I'm sorry I'm sitting on the floor but honestly if you came in late I had a rig this system we're in my um we're in my place in Jackson Wyoming and I did not take can you see me now and I did not take my tripod out here ah you got me okay uh, you don't want the TV. What do you want? Let's see. Is that better? Okay. So what you can do is, if you want to follow me, you have any questions, go to Focus on Style. Can you see it? Dot com scope topics. Focus on Style. Dot com scope topics, and it will take you to this page. Come on. Oh, and it's going to take me to Facebook right now. Hold on. It's going to take you to this page. Can you see it? And on there, you can answer, ask me whatever question you'd like me to scope about. So um, I will be back in New York soon and um, hopefully not talking about snow boots there. Hopefully the weather will be a little bit better. It's been pretty warm out there. And, um, you know, let me know what you want. And while you're on Focus on Style, don't forget to sign up for my free downloadable passport to French Chic Style Guide and get on my insiders list because I share things by email that I don't share to you on Periscope or on you know, publicly on the site because I consider you one of my VIP insiders and give you special promotions and offers and things that I'm working on. And if you're there right now, you have probably received and I'll, you'll probably be getting a follow-up about a very, very special, um, I don't know what I want to call it, style mentoring program that I'm coming up with and it's going to be very limited very select group of small bunch of ladies so you only know about it if you're on my if you're on my list so beyond the list you can also go to focusonstyle.com forward slash um, insta style insta style like instagram I know we're on periscope but I set it up for instagram so i n s t a style will also take you to it or just go to focus focusonstyle.com and there are like 150 million ways plus sideways to get on my list so hope you enjoyed it see you soon thank you for coming to jackson hole and don't remember if it weren't for the last minute nothing would ever get done see you soon Take care and keep on styling, okay? Any other quick topics, don't forget, focusonstyle.com, scope topics. You'll get there and ask me whatever you want. If you have anything else you want to add to this scope right now that you want to ask me, go over to Twitter at Focus on Style and just ask me right there. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.